If there is no unbalanced force, an object does not change velocity, that is, accelerate or decelerate. So a car, for example, will move at a constant speed if the engine force and friction force are equal. As I mentioned in another video, unbalanced forces can cause objects to change in velocity, so to accelerate and decelerate. Whether it is acceleration or deceleration depends on the direction and size of the unbalanced force. Now let's see the equation that links force, mass and acceleration. F equals ma. Force equals mass into acceleration. Before we move into another example, the units of force is newtons, mass is kilograms and acceleration is meters per second squared. So if an object has a mass of 10 kilograms and an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared, then the force that has to be applied would be 10 into 2, which is 20 newtons. The grooved pattern on the car's tire is known as the tread of the tire. What the tread does is it makes sure the road is always in contact with the tire by throwing away water and other substances preventing contact. So I'm sure you know by now that brakes work by increasing friction between the tire and the road. So most modern vehicles are fixed with anti-lock braking systems to ensure that chances of skidding are low. Next we'll look at safe stopping distance. The stopping distance of a vehicle is the total of the thinking and braking distance. The faster the car, the greater the stopping distance. The thinking distance is the time it takes for you to react. If you are driving and you suddenly see a man blocking your path, the distance it takes for you to react to this is called the thinking distance. Many factors affect the thinking distance, including the person driving, the visibility and the speed. Next the braking distance. So this is the time it takes for you to press the brake and for the car to stop. Vehicles with a larger mass take longer to stop due to the F equals MA equation mentioned before. And finally, weight is the force that acts on an object because of gravity. This weight depends on the mass and the gravitational force. Noted by the equation W equals mg, weight equals mass into gravitational force. Well, that's all for today. If you preferred it instead of a whack in the face with your textbook, then like and consider subscribing.